Hello, in this tutorial we're going to be talking about drawing ears. The scariest of facial features. So what I'm going to do to start with is to draw just a basic jawline of a person. Just to give us an idea of where things are at. And we have a line here for the eyebrow because we can recall the ear lines up with the eyebrow and the bottom of the nose. So when we look at an ear from the front, we aren't going to see too much of it. It's actually going to be mostly hidden either by hair or by the side of your face. So what we're going to do is just draw a little bit, kind of like a curved C shape. It's bigger on the top than the bottom usually, but again, everybody's ears are different, so this may be different for your ears. This is just my ear. <laughs> um, what I'm drawing right now is kind of the cartilage that goes around the top of the ear, and it's kind of covered by hair at the inside, so that's what I'm drawing right now is kind of some of the hair in the front. And we'll speed that up to get that out of the way. And then at the earlobe, there's a little kind of curve. So we have the tragus, which is that little triangular piece that juts out. And then another curve to your anti-tragus. And then up at the top, we have kind of a little indent of the cartilage. And then it pokes out a little bit right about there. And really, the majority of the ear is shading. So what areas are pushed in and are away from the light, what areas are sticking out and would have a highlight on them. So the ear canal obviously is going to be one of the darkest areas of the ear depending on your lighting. So we're going to color that in pretty dark and go around that tragus there. And then usually our earlobes have some little indentations where we might have some shading. Some of you might have pierced ears, so you could add that in. So maybe you have an earring in, maybe you don't. Um, so I've got a little hoop up at the top that we can add in. And then just to clean things up to give a little more definition, we might have some darker shadows around the ear canal and up by the rook. And then we'll just add some hair around the jawline to give it a little more definition. If we were to look at the ear from the side, we would start again with kind of a bigger C shape. And depending on your earlobes, you might have connected lobes or free hanging lobes, and that would be where your jawline is. So we have that loop of cartilage up at the top, and then the inside of your ear kind of looks like a question mark. So just to think about, maybe you can see it in your ear or your neighbor's ear. And then we have this little curve here, and that's Right on the inside is where the rook is, that little line that kind of goes across your ear. And then what I'm drawing right now is the tragus, so that little kind of corner on the edge of your face. I'll just get rid of the question mark for now. And then coming in we have that little dip by your earlobe. And what I'm drawing now is called the anti-tragus, so it's on the other side. 
I know all this stuff because I used to work in a piercing shop, so I had to learn all these little spots on your ear. All the places to get earrings. And I'm just going to kind of redefine the earlobe area. I think I made it a little too large, so I'm going to kind of thin it out a little bit towards the bottom and reshape it up at the top. So we'll just clean that up real quick. And we'll draw the jawline in the back of the neck and a little bit of the hair so just we can have some context here. And once we have these main areas of the ear blocked out, we can start shading. Because like most of the facial features, they're really created with shading. Shading is what makes something look accurate or not. And we'll just add in some more of that hair just so we can have some contrast. And you notice how the hair kind of loops around the ear to show that it's tucked behind it. And remember the areas that are set in far enough will be darker than the areas that poke out more. So kind of where the fold of the cartilage is up at the top is going to be darker than that middle area where the light is hitting more. And using the side of your pencil is an excellent tool for getting a little more even blending. You can use your finger, you can use a blending stump. Anything that works best for you. So we're just reshaping that rook right there. And then we're going to shade in the ear canal. So usually on the side there, it's kind of a bowl shape. It's rounded. It's going to be darker on the sides and then very dark towards the inside, towards the entrance of the ear canal. And then there's usually a little bit of a highlight in the center of the little bowl there. So just like when you shade a sphere, you kind of follow along the curves of the object that you're shading. And that'll make it look a lot more realistic. It's called cross contour lines. We're following along this sh size and the shape of the object that we're working with. So again, we're leaving a little bit of highlight in the center and then darkening up areas. So when you're shading, it's always better to start out light and then go dark because if you make a mistake, you can always still erase it. But if you go completely black right away, you can't really erase that. So like always, draw it light until you get it right. Same goes with shading. And usually this little ridge here tends to have a pretty dark area there in between the tragus and the anti-tragus. And there's usually a little bit of shading right around that lip because that's where the cartilage meets the kind of skin flap of your earlobe. And I'm going to shorten this up again because again I think the earlobe is just a little too big. Now, some of you might have big earlobes but in this case this ear is not so big. And like any other facial feature, it's different for everybody. So some of these features on the ear might look a little different on you or on a friend than they would in this drawing. So always be drawing what you see. So you're looking at that. And then we'll just finish up with cleaning up the hair area, giving a little more detail, a little more shading. I like contrast in these drawings.